the confusion in your life. Remi, Mpuloke, Nancy, Bumme Kromp, Kavant. Baby, you don't have to wait down. Richard, no barabara. Stop barabaring in English. Oh, complaining. I was still searching for the right word. I'm not English. Yes. Stop complaining. Okay. You are complaining a lot. Yes. So this complaining, 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 complaining. Now it's, it means your mind to kind of lock, block. Okay. And you can't think right anymore. Life is still so wide for you. Your destiny is, even right now, there is nothing you're seeing. Hey, there are big things ahead that are coming. Okay. Don't be confused. Okay. Raise your hand and re receive your breakthrough. Power is coming upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will never complain again. You will never be confused again. This small situation must never confuse you. In Jesus' mighty name. Receive your breakthrough. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Cheris Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T.E. Makanenisa. And standing with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by Prophetess T.E. Makanenisa who ministered upon his life. So kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. I'm Mahangu Shungasi Jankus. I'm from Limpopo, currently based in Houghton, Midrand. Today, during the service, Prophetess T.E. Makanenesa located you and ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what she said and please confirm it. Uh, she called me and then she said unto me, I am vadabading, meaning I am complaining, and I can attest to that because this other day during Wednesday service, uh, Prophet Andres also told me that uh, you must stop worrying, like complaining. And so I can attest that that is true. But what happens with me is that I don't, I'm not aware that I'm complaining, but somewhere, somehow I can see things not going according to the plan in my life and, and stuff. So somewhere, somehow, it, 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 it plays a negative role in my life, in my mind, and I will start complaining and ask myself, why is it not going according to how I wish or I expected? And how do you feel after she, menaced, she located you and ministered upon your life? Um, I, I, I feel encouraged because she said to me, I know that when you look at your present uh, or current situation, things are not like a blank, but uh, believe that God, because what she said, what I'm seeing, uh, things will be better in future, like uh, the blessing are around the corner. So I believe that uh, my life will change and I feel encouraged and I, I believe that I will never see things uh, the way I used to see them or think the way I used to think concerning the current situation. Thank you. Nancy, I'm breaking this confusion. Amen. And I'm saying in the name of Jesus, every door must be opened. In Jesus' mighty name, you are free. Life, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Hi, my name is Nancy Munyai. I'm coming from Pretoria. Today, during the service, Prophetess T.E. Makanenisa located you and she ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what she said and please confirm it. Oh. Today what's happened is uh, mommy called and called me and tell me that I must come to the front. When I reach there, just tell me that you are very confused. And which is true, I am very confused. Too much on the side of businesses because some other time, 
some other things seemed to to go right way but at the end some other point I feel like I'm taking the wrong decision and how has this affected you it's affected my business so much because I ended up not knowing what exactly did I have to take because some other times when I'm focusing about other things there are other papers that just came and I, start, I ended up know, knowing which way to start first. And how do you feel that Prophetess T.E. Makanan is allocated to you and minister upon your life? Wow, I thank God so much because uh, start from today, the confusion is ending. I will never be confused again. God will direct me and I will know what I have to do. Thank you, God. Kutanganana hasit, ma bambriya koso kutanganan. Asi anga ni mara tiat diwundi ani. Mara kutanganana katangan uruwe ngat sinale yes. Katangan uruwe. Oh yo, katangan yiseka. The one who made them to be mixed up must remix them. In Jesus' mighty name. Sisi. Let me speak to this one first. When go. You don't have to stay here. She must proceed. She must succeed in Jesus' name. But yeah, things will be right. But do things the right way. Amen. Walk the right way. Yes. Believe that God has a plan for you. You can never fall. You cannot come from up there. I don't know where you were. And fall down this way. You must go back. I'm praying by the grace of God you go back to where you were. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. There will never be confusion again. The enemy can never be able to confuse your things again. In Jesus' name. Take it. Hallelujah. Can you hold here? Yeah. In Jesus' name. Elijah, your own is different. Now. Your ears will be opened in Jesus' name. My brother, God is with you. He's in your heart. And whatever you're crying for in your heart, God will give you your heart's desire. Amen. Thank you. You're crying that, Lord, this is what you're saying. Let me say it very well. Lord, remember me. Yes, ma'am. Lord, look at me. Yes, ma'am. I am serving you. Remember me. Yes, God is remembering you. In Jesus' name. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Archibald Mabaso and I'm from Pretoria. Today during the service, Prophetess T.E. Makanan is allocated you and she ministered upon your life. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what she said to you and please confirm it. Um, the prophetess located me um, and she spoke upon my life. Uh, she said to me that um, she hears me um, crying for God to remember me um, and that uh, in my heart I'm saying to God I want to serve you and I just confirm that it is true um, in my heart uh, I just want to serve God um, and you know uh, a prophecy was quite accurate you know, sometimes when you're going through things you didn't forget what you want from your inner, your inner you so a prophecy was also it just uh, made me to realize that God actually knows what's in our hearts. And how do you feel that she located you and ministered upon your life? No, I'm happy. Um, I, I'm serving in the church, so it makes me also happy to know that God sees and He knows what truly is in my heart. My brother, life cannot be said it's not easy. It is easy when you believe that it is easy. If you started believing that it's tough, it becomes tough. But when you just say, ah, my own is easy, everything will be light. Amen. Both financially Amen. and both in progress. Amen. God will raise you to a standard where you never thought. Amen. And indeed, I'm telling you by the grace of God that you have received today, Amen. things are going to turn around and change for you. Are you hearing me? Yes. 
God is blessing you. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you Father. Thank you for the grace. In Jesus name. Thank you for the grace. Allow me to just pray for you. Don't be angry that I'm touching your chest. You are my brothers. There is nothing wrong in that. So, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Nkolisi. I'm from Johannesburg. So today during the service, Prophetess T. E. Makanenisa located you and Minister upon your life. Kindly please tell us what she said to you and please confirm it. Okay, she spoke about me complaining that life is hard. And she said to me, as long as I continue saying life is hard, it will be hard. And that is true. And in which areas of your life um, were you facing that difficulty that made you think that life is hard? Uh, she it even mentioned financially, it and is it is true, you. I've been suffering financially. Yes. Pray with all your power, pray with all your strength, pray. What other pray with all your power and all your strength. Life challenges, yeah, I've been having a, li a lot of challenges to pray, move forward pray, in life, pray, to go forward in life. I've been stuck for some time, yes. And how has this affected you? You know, as a human being, when you don't see progress in your life, it affects you mentally and even spiritually. Without movement going forward, you sometimes get discouraged. And how do you feel that today she located you and ministered upon your life? I believe... Since she has located me, my life will turn around. Amen. Amen. Don't be tired. You are still very young. You still have a long way to go. Don't cry. Don't cry when I feel like your destiny is very close. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Do you have a heart problem? What is happening here? Sometimes I feel pain. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Be free. In Jesus' name. Do you know moving? Hatred. Anyway, anyway. There are many people where I'm staying with family. Can you please forgive them? Don't hate them. So that God can also remember you. Ne? <laughs> Don't hate anyone. When they're speaking bad about you, just say thank you, Lord. I'm going to my destiny. Ma'am, life, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Tukolochi Kunguru. I'm from Winnie Mandela, Sultan. Today, during the service, Prophetess T. E. Makananisa located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what she said and please confirm it. She just asked me who, who's hating me because she's seeing a hatred. I said, um, there are a lot of people who hate me, some families, some uh, neighbors, yeah. And how has that affected you? It has affected me a lot because this thing started even when I was still at school. I would receive hatred and I would ask myself why people are, are hating me that much. To such extent that what did I do? Though I will be good to them but I will still be hated. You will see some other people they will be pretending. So. It has affected me to such an extent that sometimes I just tell myself, you know what, I don't trust any person anymore. Even though it's family or friend or what, I will just pretend to be good to them. But deep down inside, I know that I don't trust any. And what, what else did she say to you? She just told me that um, I must just hold on because... Uh, God has a way for me. Where I'm going is far. I must forgive and move on with life. And how do you feel that she located you and ministered upon your life? Uh, I feel relieved because like, I've been asking myself that God, I pray, asking forgiveness because I know to hate someone or to hold someone 
with crisis it's so bad but it will still ha uh, hurt me inside and out be like ish what must i do must i pray for this person though i'm praying but i still feel a pain but now i feel free because she has prayed for me and i feel relieved and i'll forgive and forget